Now we can try getting that sword because you you can you can get it if you try just jumping from up there uh, from the, the other side. If you're down because it's not gonna be what. Uh, I'm confused. Where's an axis? Oh, okay, I remember now. Okay. I obviously don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I can't find it anymore. Did I forget something? Am I supposed to access from a different way? Different room? Or just here, why not? So now I get the cut all, which is seriously, it's its power is lower. Sheep. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. I go back and get some souls for later, but right now I'm just gonna avoid that and just go straight for him. The next area, which is area 5. Or get a Minotaur Soul for out of nowhere. Thanks, I'll, I'll go save actually now. Thank you. Oh, awesome, yes. So yeah, Minotaur uh, raises your strength by 8. So it's better than uh, the Skeleton Knight. All right, you are dead, and I think it's somewhere around here that there is. Okay, I'm I'm gonna need something to aim a little better because I can't aim for it otherwise. Let's try with that, I guess. Oh, it's there. There is a secret room here, but because you don't have a certain power, you cannot access it yet. But just showing that out, because, you know, it, just saying it exists. There's actually other secret room we will access maybe soon. Here we have uh, the inner quarters, area 5, and we just killed the Persephone, one, which you could pretty much call evil maid of the game. A couple of more Durgas. They were close to the last area when they, la uh, when they last appear. You can somehow get here, but I don't think if you, uh, I don't know if you can get the potion that's right here. Well, I think it's a high mind up or something. Oh, okay, you can, but it's a bit tight. So in the second room, I should be entering soon. I will... Yeah, I think it's down here. But I need something to hit down here for that. So I, I think I'll, I'll use the bat again. Uh, if I can. Yeah. And there's your secret room. Fun, right? You get two stone and witch to kill here. And a nice little high potion. But... There's also something else in this room. There is another secret room! And you get to meet the witch. And a ninja suit. Which... Hmm, that was a bit of the attack, but raise the defense. So I'll take it. And the witch is, um... Can be annoying. She, she has powers that she can use to damage you. But, um... Yeah, when she dies, she transforms into a cat with a hat on her head. And that thing can actually damage you. So you have to jump over it and avoid. Also, since the witch is apparently there, on this other room, it will seem like a nice place to farm for the witch power. But we're gonna do that uh, later. There's also an Nemesis here, I think that's the last one. 
Maybe not. Maybe there's a couple more, but I'm pretty sure this area in general is the last area where you're up here. Could be wrong. Some more Drigo. Come on. Ow! There we go. Okay, this room! You cannot do anything with this room yet. Because this bunny is gonna suddenly use a uh, time rewind or something to make you go backward. Uh, back into here. So you can't do anything about that. There's a maid waiting for you here. If you wanna farm on her, that's cool. But there's also another room where there's like seven of them. And yeah. Just saying. Room on the left, I think, is a safe point. Yeah. So what else? More drug guys, I guess. And might as well just get everyone. Well, at least the nemesis, because I already have a dirt so. Okay, she's dead. I think there's another one. Yeah, there was another one. Come on. Thank you. Now that the ne nemesis are dead, even though it doesn't make any sense, let's go to the next room. We're pretty close to the fifth boss. Uh, in fact, it's right there. The fifth boss is also the first one that you are not going to fight again. So usually, it should give you the soul right away. And it also has three form. All you have to do, uh, all you have to do right now is just first form, just standard, just a woman that's just trying to stab you. And she's not really threatening, you can just keep going until she loses her head. Next head is a wizard, which is a bit more threatening because he can actually use magic powers, which can deal more damage on you. As you can see. But, if you just avoid the attacks and... If you just avoid his attack, you should be fine. He loses his head, and then suddenly it's replaced by a lizard. This lizard is kind of annoying to avoid. If you don't hide enough, high enough defense, he's going to damage you a lot, no exception. But if you just stab away, he should die pretty quickly. And you should be getting the head under soul afterwards, no exception. If you somehow manage to not get the soul, either restart, uh, either restart, uh, uh, start from the last save point, or if you saved already, you are an idiot. But I don't think it. Uh, I don't think it's possible to not get the soul. Basically, the soul, if you have it right now, it's gonna increase most of your stat, except luck. So it's not something I'm gonna be using. Unless I get all the, uh, unless I already have all the souls by the end of the game, but that's not gonna be before a long time. So right now, I guess having defeated the um, fifth boss of the game, I'm gonna end the, uh, I'm gonna end things up here. So uh, next time on Castlevania: Area of Sorrow. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, go past the, this uh, boss room and see what's ahead in the rest of the inner quarters and forward into more areas of the game. So, um, thank you! And, uh, yeah, this is Azen. See you later, guys.